Nitian, guys, welcome back. Uh, this new episode, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the divine blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. If you guys are not aware, I uh, just released a song a few days back. It's a remix of the song Circles from Post Malone. So I made a Kailasa remix version about Swamiji. And um, I wanted to talk about how uh, another dimension of the Guru-Disciple relationship regarding to this and how the Guru, he creates this, uh, I guess we can call it magical, but this mystical, magical life for the disciple. Um, in the beginning of the song, uh, I talk about uh, when you turn around you threw me upside down I'll never be the same you took over my ground yes so that's how it starts <laughs> if you didn't check it out check it out in the videos I'll put the link in the description as well um, when I decided to go to Swamiji and I started to uh, read, uh, I think, his book or I watched the video, the first night, um, the first night, he came in my dreams in vivid colors and um, he was, I was like kind of a, I actually, yeah, I remember now, I was fishing on a boat and for some reason my pole did not have any, uh, how do you call it? that hook, the hook was not there. So I was, I was fishing without a hook on a lake on a small fisherman's boat. And then I randomly turn around and I see this uh, orange robed, I guess monk uh, with hair, sitting on a rock facing the opposite side. So I could only see his back. So then in my dream, I got intrigued and I stopped fishing and and, I, and I, I drove towards the banks and I got off the boat and I walked towards, um, towards the monk. And then as I got closer, at some point, the monk turned around and it was Swamiji. And then, and then Swamiji looked, he looked at me very intensely. And, uh, and then, I don't know, some, it's, it was that look, that impact was so strong. It, it stayed with me and it still is uh, with me. So like that, it's like when you meet Guru, uh, see my interpretation of this dream is fisherman fishing without a hook, definitely he's not looking for fishes because he's not going to get anything without a hook. So for me, that was like a representation of seeking, you know, you're looking for something. You're kind of constantly out there in the unknown, right? The, the water is the unknown. You don't see what's going on underneath and you're engaging with the unknown. And as you engage with the unknown, as you seek, uh, well, when you're, sin when you're seeking reach a certain level of sincerity, then the master responds. And then that's where, you know, I turned around and there he was, I could see the master. I was, I was looking for him in the water, but I guess he was uh, much more available than just a fish under the water. So, um, and then I went to him and, and that whole experience happened and it has such an impact on the individual, on the being, to have such these experiences. Um, it is so meaningful and so impactful. You can't just pretend like nothing happened. Um, it's like, it hits you in your core. And that's what the master does. The guru-disciple relationship allows you to have these experiences which hits you constantly to your core to remind you of that seeking for the ultimate, to remind you of the space of Paramashivam, of Shiva, of Paramashiva, of the ultimate. So this is very important. And the more you cherish that guru-disciple relationship, the more these custom-made experiences will be given to you to answer your being and to strengthen your connection with the divine, with the guru, with the master, with the ultimate, with Lord Shiva himself. So uh, that's what I wanted to share in this video. Check out the music. Uh, it's called Living Flame. Living Flame, it's a remix of the Post Malone Circle songs. So, Nityananda, you're a living flame. Nityananda, Nityananda, Nityananda. Yes, Nityananda, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shiva.